All right. So here's a quick video of me cleaning my old Raspberry Pi Model 1. Um, as you can see, this side's fairly clean, but look over here. Look at this disgusting mess. This was on the whole board. What the heck? Like I had halfway cleaned it before I decided, you know what, I'll make a quick video. So I've just been using isopropyl alcohol and uh, a toothbrush. Um, it seems to be going well. You might hear some birds in the background. I'm sorry if you do, if you don't like birds. Um, if you do like birds, then you should be thanking me. Um, so I haven't actually had much use of this Raspberry Pi over the years. It's mostly been sitting around. I got it when it first came out, like in the first order. Um, and I haven't really used it much. Um, the main thing, the main reason I haven't used it, to be honest, is because um, up until like two weeks ago, I didn't realize that the Pi header on this was actually like compatible with newer models. It just had less pins on one end. So knowing that, I feel kind of silly um, having all these other Pi compatible boards. Um, yes, yeah, so let's see if we can clean right in here. I do want to note that this morning, I well, just before recording this, which is the next day, I did take off that piece of yellow tape protecting the display connector. Um, it's it's just not it's not doing anything. Um, so yeah, I might have to install Armbian or something on this and set it up. Um, problem is that the Raspberry Pi is like ARM version 6. You can see here I'm trying to use a like piece of cloth to clean out that section because I couldn't get it with the toothbrush directly. Probably a good reason to get a smaller toothbrush, huh? Um, yeah, ARM v6 is being phased out support for it. Uh, at least I think so. That's what I've heard. Maybe that's untrue. Um, yeah, so I'm recording this using my new microscope that I got yesterday. Um, it's an ADSM 302 by... I think it's Endon Star. I just, uh, my desk is a mess right now. Yeah, it's by and in the star and it works pretty good. This is just recording to SD card. I'm happy about it for the most part. The only downside is that when you yeah, just flip over the board and do the other side, why don't you pass Duke here? Why would you? All right. Um, the only downside I can really find about it is that the USB video connection isn't like by default. I mean, when you record it, it acts as kind of a webcam, so it doesn't have like all the contrast and stuff adjustment that HDMI does, which is kind of disappointing a little bit. Um, there is some software you can use with it. Let's zoom in here, look real close in the detail of this, this gunk, this trash. Um, there is some Windows software that you can use and do things like measurements and whatever, but, uh, I didn't buy it because of that and I'm not going to really care too much about it. It's a microscope. It's doing what it needs to do. Previously for microscope stuff, I was just using a webcam with the front off. It's my finger there. I don't know. I'm still wondering why there's actually like white stuff in the finger. Um, in my little finger lines. I don't know if I like touch something that just filled my finger crevices with powder or something. Um, but yeah, the USB output is not the same as the HDMI output. And when you plug the whole thing, like it plugs in, it can plug into a single USB port for powering and stuff. Um, but unfortunately it can only, uh, like you, if you plug it into your computer, it doesn't do the USB camera. You have to use two USB cables for that. And I can kind of see why, what? What the hell is this? Are you seeing this? This is like there's next to these capacitors and this clock, there's like these 
really gross white blobs that look like they've kind of leaked out of the capacitor. Although I don't like, let's zoom in a little more. I've cut out the zooming so you don't have to go through that. It takes like a few seconds. What is this? Is that a hair? I mean, I've had this pie for a long time and I've never really, I mean, I don't know how this would get here. Could this be blue tack? I'm sure I blue tacked it at some point, but probably, I mean, here I am with my big tweezers here trying to touch it just to see if like, is this a liquid? It seems like it has more of a pasty composition. Um, it wants to stay together as one piece. Um, but uh, I cut out me running to another room here in order to get tweezers. So here's some slightly bigger tweezers. And if we just touch it here, we can kind of get the entire thing off. And it looks like it's underneath the capacitor here. I, when you pull it out, it looks like it's being pulled out from underneath the capacitor. It's disgusting. Um, if we look at it, if we tilt the board and look underneath, it looks like it might be like under there, but it looks like it's under everything else too. Like, and on that one there, it's like, it's not underneath it. It's at the side near the solder joint. That's not where things leak, is it? We can pull that up. Oh, it came off a little bit, but it looks like it's, it's coming off. Uh, this is a mystery. I don't think this is normal for Raspberry Pis. Um, if someone could explain to me what this is, I will, I guess, pin you a comment, but that's all you're going to get. I did consider sending this to the, like posting this on the Raspberry Pi message board saying something like, I was cleaning my Pi to keep it pure and I found these on it. Is this normal? Like in a clueless use of it, a user um, style, but I decided against it because I just want to get, I want to move forward in life. So let's look at the other capacitors on the other side of the board. Um, this is the, about the regular amount of time it takes to focus. Um, one good trick to do is just to focus it down all the way um, and then, you know, move the thing. It'll, it'll be out of focus, um, but then you just move the actual microscope up and then it will be in focus. Um, so these, you know, these look a bit crusty. That's to be, sorry, I'm banging my, my knee against this thing under my table. Um, these look crusty, but they don't look goo. Like I'm prodding it there. It's not coming off and it's only happening on like a few of these. Um, the only thing I can really think of is like, this is from some kind of heat. I, this is under where the system on a chip is, but looking over at other places on the board, like it's on one of the JTAG pins here. Like what? Um, and it peels off. Like, I don't think this is what blue tack is. Did I put something else? It's got like a little bit of red in it. Is that blood? Did something die on here? I mean, I saw a video by Lewis Rossman and he was like, look at all this gunk on this laptop. And uh, he, he attributed it to something pretty disgusting, but I wanna just make it on the record. I have not, I have not had intercourse with this Raspberry Pi. And this is definitely, definitely not this. Uh, let's try and zoom in as much as we can to have a look at this. Um, I'm sure with a better, microscope, you could probably, I don't know, look at the cells of this, but if we're looking closer here, it looks, I don't know what material this is. It's mushy. Um, it kind of takes shape. 
Oh, my screen went off on my computer. Hang on a second. Um, don't listen to my password. Don't listen to my password. Password protection. Um, but damn, like, what is that? Um, if we go back and look at the board, um, yeah, there's just like kind of marks of it everywhere, but there's no blobs. Um, I don't know what I'm focusing on here. I think, I don't know. I think I try to focus out a lot to get the, no, I'm just bad at focusing. Um, unlike a camera, this doesn't have autofocus. Um, and that's okay. I don't really care. That's, let's get back to cleaning this. Um, brush, 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 brush. So the, the, the microscope, um, is that it on the side of the, this clock? This is probably the USB clock or ethernet clock. I think there's two of them. Okay. Yeah. Back to brushing. So as I was talking about, um, yeah. So if you connect it to your computer, you'll need two USB cables and it shows up as a webcam. And that kind of like, I can see why they, well, no, I can't see why they did it. They could just have an option to not turn to webcam mode. Like when you plug it in, it forces the microscope into like a, do you want to use mass storage or uh, it's some gunk there, some more gunk. Let's look at it closer. Um, this is putting it as close to the lens as I can, but it doesn't have any like actual light. What happened here? It's Let's get closer. Wow. What is this? Like I'm getting distracted a lot. Like it is not happening over here, but it's happening here. Is this what it looks like when ceramic ceramic capacitors leak? Like I kind of, like there's some solder mask in a, in a, over a via there. Is this just solder mask? It's not scraping off. So I'd imagine not. I just don't know. I mean, it is kind of blue a little bit, I admit. So it could be blue tack. Um, th this isn't being dissolved by isopropyl alcohol. I don't know if, I don't know if blue tack gets dissolved by isopropyl alcohol. So it is possible that this is just blue tack. That's, that's the only thing I can think of. I like back in 2012, I, uh, sorry for that clip there. Um, back in 2012, I just, I put it, I blue tacked it to the back of a monitor to make a, a Linux machine and it was pretty cool. Um, but I, I can't imagine, oh, maybe the heat melted the blue tack and glued it in place. That's the only thing I can really think of because this is, you know, there are vias or I think those are thermal vias in the middle there. Uh, but I really just, I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, here's me learning a new technique which is hold the tweezers and then move the board. And that way you don't lose track of your tweezers. I apologize if you can hear me like trying to deal with my nose problems. I don't have the Rona, but uh, I have something. Um, whatever it is, it's letting me off lightly. So I'm recovering from that. Um, but yeah. What the heck? I mean, it's not anywhere else. It's not outside this general region. That pin probably wasn't getting hot unless it was a ground pin. I mean, it's not part of the solder that's coming off. So I don't know. Let's just get back to cleaning. So yeah, um, when you plug this into USB, it will ask like a USB on a computer, it will ask you 
Like if you plug the monitor section into a computer using USB, the monitor will ask you whether to be a video camera, like a USB camera or a video camera. I'm not sure what that is. Or a mass storage device, which I assume is for copying files and things. I didn't bother doing that. Um, I don't know why. I guess I've been conditioned not to, you know, really deal with mass storage devices. Um, but I will try it next time. It seems a lot easier than fiddling around and taking an SD card out and putting in a reader. But you only get this, this, um, yeah, so that's me scratching the board there to see, like, look at the layers of gunk on this, even on the top. Um, this is a big capacitor I sold it on. It's not surface mount, but, <laughs> but it, uh, it works. I just bent the legs and cut them off. Um, it was a capacitor I found somewhere on another board, so whatever. Um, these are the power LEDs. Um, and I think the Raspberry Pi 1 only has Ethernet LEDs, which you see below. And I don't have Ethernet plugged in, so we won't see them today. Um, but let's try having a look at what the LEDs look like with them on. Um, at this point, I'm scrambling for a USB cable. Yep, oh, it's a big, gross USB cable. I don't know what happened there. And yeah, we have the LEDs on. So before this video ends, I'll go back over the microscope stuff. Uh, yeah, so when you, it, when you plug it in using the, you know, big cable that connects it to power to the computer, it doesn't give you any prompts for USB or whatever. So I guess they're just not passing the data lines through. I wish they did that, but I mean, I don't know. I just expect all hardware at this point to be kind of janky and weird. Let's zoom into this, uh, I think this is the power light. Uh, the okay light is next to it. LEDs are very interesting to look up up close because it's like, you can see, I think it's the, the anode and the cathode and they're just wired together by like a little piece of wire. Um, and the green LED is a little smaller. So that's all. I'll see you around next time. Thanks for coming to this video, etc. Like, sub, hit that power breaker, etc.